Do you sometimes wonder whether to use a, an or the? Well, it's time to master the use of these small but useful words in English a, an and the which are called articles. There are two types of articles, the indefinite articles and the definite article. The indefinite article consists of a and an. The definite article consists of the article the. In the first part of this lesson, you will be learning about the indefinite articles a and an. Well, you are watching the Spoken English video lessons of Arrow Publications and I am your Spoken English trainer Padmini. So let's get started. Before we go on to learning the use of indefinite articles a and an, let's first understand two things. It's about the types of nouns. The first type is the countable noun and the second one is the uncountable noun. The countable noun is a noun that can be counted in number. So we can count some things, some people, the places or animals as one, two, three, four. And we also have uncountable nouns which cannot be counted in number. Like for instance, we have words like rice, milk, water, information, luggage, furniture, advice, etc. So these words are used with words like some or maybe a lot of or little. But countable nouns which can be counted can be either singular or plural. When it's a singular countable noun, we use the articles a or an before them. And when there are plural countable nouns, we do not use a or an before them. We use some, many and a few. So, in this lesson about indefinite articles, we are going to talk about the use of the indefinite articles a and an which come before singular countable nouns. Now when you say singular countable nouns, what are we referring to? We are referring to things like books, trees, boys, girls and so on. These things can be counted. So singular is a book and plural is books. Singular is tree and plural is trees. Egg, an egg and it is eggs in the plural form. So we use these indefinite articles a and an only with singular countable nouns. That's something you must remember always. Now let's go on to the next part. When do we use a or an? We use a or an when we are talking about something for the first time. Once there lived a king. So we, when we are introducing someone or something, I have a book. You are introducing the book here. So when you are introducing something, we use the articles a or an. We can also use a or an when we are referring to one among a group. For instance, we can say, he is a doctor from America or he is a teacher from Hyderabad. So he is one of them. So when you are referring to a person from a group, we use the articles a and an. And another way you can use is to talk about a profession. She is a teacher, she is a doctor, she is an engineer. So these are some of the basic uses of the indefinite article a or an. Now the next question is when does a come and when does an come? The article a is used before words that begin with consonant sounds. When we say consonant sounds, we talk about 
all the sounds that are the that are of the article of the letters b c d f g or maybe h or j and so on when we are talking about the vowel sounds we are talking about the sounds of the letters a e i o u remember a e i o u can have several sounds and also remember that the sounds of these articles the sounds of these words which take articles can be consonant sounds or vowel sounds sometimes consonants have vowel sounds and sometimes vowels have consonant sounds so in english you cannot take the letter into consideration you have to take the sound into consideration now let's look at some examples which take the article a a book a tree a door a flag a rainbow a dog a horse a van a week a jug a child a lamp a man a nation a parrot a table a lady a queen a year a zero so these are all words that take the article a because they all have consonant sounds in the first letter now let's go to some examples of words which begin with a vowel sound vowel sound means the sounds of the letters a e i o u the article an is used before words which begin with a vowel sound here are some examples an apple an egg an ice cream an orange an umbrella an ear an aeroplane an engine an officer an island so all these words take an now let's go to some special cases i told you that some the some of these consonant sounds can have vowel sounds and some of these vowels can have consonant sounds so there are some special cases where we use a when it actually begins with a vowel the letter is a vowel but the sound is a consonant sound we use an sometimes for a let for a word that begins with a consonant but in fact it's a vowel sound so let's look at these words these special cases where it's important for us to look at the sounds let's get started a university in a university it begins with the sound u u it's not a as an umbrella so we say a university a unicorn a unicorn is a horse like animal a union a union a useful book look at all these words they have the sound of a consonant it's u u a useful book a unique experience a united nation a universal fact a unisex saloon a 1 rupee coin in this 1 rupee coin the letter is o which is a vowel but the sound is v 1 rupee coin v is a consonant sound v it's a consonant sound so we say a 1 rupee coin a one man show a one eyed woman or a one ma eyed man an r look at this word an r in this the letter h is silent we don't pronounce the letter h an r an honorable man here also the letter h is silent an honor an honor an honest man the next one is a european man a european man here we are using a european man though the word begins with two vowel letters e and u why are we using a because the word begins with the sound of 
you. We say European lady. We don't say European lady. So it's European lady, which means we use the letter A. We use the article A before it. A eucalyptus tree. Here also the sound is U. A urologist. A euro. A eulogy. A unit. A urinary infection. A U-turn. An X-ray. So look at all these words which take consonants sometimes, which begin with consonant sounds or begin with vowel sounds and which take the articles A or AN depending on the sound. Now let's look at some more examples, typical examples. Now here are some abbreviations. Now what do we use for these? AN FBI agent. Why do we say FBI agent? Why do we say an FBI agent? Because the letter F has got two sounds, A and F. F. We begin with a vowel sound, A. So we say an FBI agent. An LLB. Now L has got two sounds, L, A and L. So LLB. An MLA. M has got two sounds. A and M, 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 A, M. So A is the sound of a vowel. So an MLA, an MA, an MP, an MPhil, M again, an HP pencil, H, H. Look at this. We don't say H. The letter H is not H, it is H. Many people mispronounce it as H but the letter is always pronounced as H and H is a vowel sound an HIV patient a HIV patient an MRI scan an MRI scan M A an MBA degree an MCA degree an NGO N N in N we have two sounds A it begins with the sound A which is a vowel sound an RTA agent, R, R, and R begins with the sound R, which is a vowel sound, an RTA agent, a US citizen, here it is US, U, we don't say US citizen, so it is a consonant sound, a CBI agent, C, C is a vowel sound, an RBI officer, R, R is a vowel sound. An FIR, F, F, an FIR. And the next one is an SI. SI is a sub inspector of police. And here we say an SI, S. S starts with the sound A. Eh. An IPS officer, an IPS officer, I is a vowel sound. An IAS officer, this is also I, which is a vowel sound. An LPG cylinder, L, L. L begins with A, eh, so it's a vowel sound. So did you notice how we use the articles A and AN very differently? We consider the sound more than the letter. So the sound is not important. Always pronounce the word and check whether it has a vowel or a consonant sound. Now, I have something very interesting for you. I have an exercise for you, a gap filling exercise for all of you. Let's try this exercise. We shall try together. And the next page which we have, we have one more exercise which you will do on your own. So shall we start? We'll do it together. So A or an, an insect, an insect, a bird, an object, a butterfly, an animal, a vehicle, a person, a problem, an Indian, an American, a laptop, an envelope, an actress, a picture, an umbrella, an elephant, a star, a prize, a student, a teacher, a dog, a wedding, a village, an astronaut, an officer, an athlete. So these are all very simple words where the sound of the vowels or the consonants are very, very clear.
Now let's look at this next page where you have another exercise. Here you have an adjective with a noun. For example, you have dash second hand car. A second hand car because sir is the sound of the first word. That is the word second and second begins with sir sound. So second is a consonant sound. So we say a second hand car. And if you look at the second one, a unique experience. You, you, it's a consonant sound. So you say a unique experience. So I'm sure you understand how you can do this. And I'm sure you will try these when you are free or when you have leisure. And I'm sure you enjoyed learning all about the use of the indefinite articles A and N. It is quite challenging, but with practice, I'm sure you will be able to use these words very, very properly. So do like, subscribe and share our videos. I shall come back very soon with the next video, which is the second part of this lesson on articles. In that lesson, we'll be dealing with the article, the definite article, the. I'm sure you will be interested and you will watch. So keep watching. Thank you very much. See you soon.